Hi. Back in August 2013, I wrote a piece on my blog about uh, Mozart's piece uh, KV516, in which he wrote uh, a piece which could be composed by throwing dice. You added together the two dice scores and got a number between 2 and 12, and using these and a lookup table, you chose a bar. Um, and by putting these bars together, throwing the dice 16 times, you came up with the score for a minuet. And Mozart so contrived it that the um, bars that you choose from the dice scores always fitted together to give quite a pleasing little minuet. Uh, this first piece was done, the first article was done using Python, and the music was generated using the uh, musical engraving program Lily Pond and uh, it produced a MIDI file as well which I played with the program to MIDI. However with the advent of Sonic Pi I thought it was time to look at this piece again and using Sonic Pi it is possible to produce the music and to simulate the throwing of the dice and to produce the musical output. And over here on my Pi uh, I have the screen running and it has actually got loaded in it the new version of the software which will do this. Now, unfortunately Sonic Pi of course is not capable of producing the printed output but um, you can choose from the program the result of the dice scores, put them into a text file and then use LilyPond on the Raspberry Pi to produce the printed version and that's what I'm going to do in this video. Um, by the way, the program running on Sonic Pi works fine on the Raspberry Pi. It won't unfortunately run on the Mac version because there is a limitation on the maximum size of file that will work and it appears that it's a bit smaller on the Mac than it is on the Raspberry Pi. Pi. So looking at the Pi, the way that it uses uh, random numbers means that if we want to get a different piece uh, each time we have to uh, change the seed uh, by which we seed the random number generator otherwise we'll always get the same piece every time we run the program so I'm just going to put in uh, a number for this let's put in one two three four and we're going to uh, run the program and stop it almost immediately it starts playing because what I want to do is to generate the uh, music as well so that you can see what is being played and to do that I'm just going to slide across the output pane because the program is uh, designed to print at the top the dice scores totals for the six uh, for the uh, dice which are thrown 16 times so the 16 numbers in this and if I copy those and then I come to a, a terminal window here um, in this terminal window I'm going to open up a text file which is called dicethrows.txt. Here we go. And that's a series of numbers. This is from the last time the program was run. So I'm going to type Control K which is going to cut that line. And then using the mouse I'm going to paste in the new numbers that we've just chosen. There they are. And we're going to exit this program using Control X. We'll say yes. Do we want to resave it? and that's produced the updated Dice Throws program. Now I produced a little script, uh, a bash script called Go SP, Go Sonic Pi, and when I run this, which I'm going to do now, it's first of all going to um, produce the um, bar choices from the Python script, and then it's going to uh, start the uh, program LilyPond, which is going to produce the printed output from this. Incidentally, it will also produce a MIDI file, which we're not going to use in this case, because we're going to use Sonic Pi to play the end result. Uh, it's produced a postscript file of the result, converting it to a PNG file, and it's now going to uh, mount uh, NetSurf, and here we see the score of the piece which we're going to actually play. Now I'm going to bring Sonic Pi to the front and start it playing, um, and then we'll switch back to the image, and you can see as it plays, if you're musical, you'll be able to read the music as we go along. End of the first part, we go back for a repeat. That's the second time bar, so the left-hand part of the eighth bar changes slightly. There it goes. 
on to the second half. And the second half repeated. And that's the end of that. Let's just close that and I'm going to do it once more just to prove that it's not a fluke and that we will actually get a different one running. Let's choose a different uh, rounder number. Let's say 6470 and we'll start that running again. Stop it playing and we'll choose the numbers which are here and select them. There we are, and copy them. We'll switch back to the terminal window. We will reload the dice throws program to the nano editor. We'll cut out that line. We will paste in the new line. There it is, new choices. We'll exit the program uh, saying, yes, we want to save the updated changes. And then we'll run again the script. Here it is, which is going to run the Python program to generate the bar choices and then feed that into the Lily Pond um, music engraver, which it's doing. It's now producing the uh, first of all postscript file of the output, which is then going to convert into um, a PNG output file, which is starting off now. And then once that's generated, it will call up the NetSurf um, web browser. And there is the new version of the music. So let's start Sonic Pi playing. We've not changed the round number, so it plays the same piece again. And here is the music for it as well. If you don't read music, you will uh, see the chords in the third bar here. You can hear three chords there. You can see this music is corresponding to what we're playing. Second half. So there we have Sonic Pi playing uh, Mozart's uh, dice-generated um, program. I'll just have a very brief look at the program. Uh, it mainly consists of lots and lots of notes being put in. Um, we first of all have the random number generator seed, which is going to change the program which is chosen. We have our lookup table here. These are bar numbers which will be chosen. The first section here will be for the first bar and then the second section will be for the second bar and so on all the way along. There are actually um, 16 rows of those for the, uh, the different choices that we will get. And then we choose the synthesizer and we have a few procedures which are going to do the, uh, the playing of our script. And then the main bulk of it down the bottom here, which starts here, is simply putting together um, the bar uh, the, the music for the different bars. And so if we take this, that sounds like RN, that's right hand bar number one, is going to be an F, a D and a G. Um, the left hand bar number one is going to be an F3, D3 and a G3. And also we have to have bars which have the, um, uh, another uh, series of arrays which have the durations of the notes in. So the right hand duration for bar four is a quaver and then a string of demi semi quavers for the rest of the bar. And that goes on for the, all the 176 bars which are there. This is one reason the, the program doesn't run on the Mac because the program's just a bit too long for it to, uh, to fit in and work properly. But it works uh, very well on the Raspberry Pi as you can see. And uh, that is the end of the video now. I hope you've enjoyed it. The program will be placed on my blog and you will be able to try it out for yourself. Thank you for watching.